returning with their game against Bochum, current league leaders, hopefully we can grab three points off them and get ourselves closer to those automatic spots. Welcome back. We have only the four games left. We are two points away from Werder Bremen, who are uh, currently populating second place. Six points ahead of Kaiserslautern with the game in hand. I don't think there's much of an issue there, but obviously we'll keep an eye on it just in case. We've had our favourite news article, um, if, if I can find it. I probably should have found this beforehand. Bear with me. Here it is. So we've got Bochum playing ourselves in third. 8, 14, 15. Then Werder Bremen, who've got an easier running than them with 11, 7, 18 and 7th. We've got a relatively tricky one, but back middle of the road. Obviously playing first place, then 14th, 8th and 12th. And uh, Kaiserslautern, who, as I said, we shouldn't have too much of an issue with. They have got Schalke to play, who are battling with them, but not really in contention. Our team to play Bochum, we have Ajeda in goal, uh, Georgi, Dwa, Parsons, uh, Nupert, Vyelson. We have got Malkovsky and Senga in the middle, with Kun, Aquino and Stamenkovic completing the attack. So what we're hoping for in this is a big old win, three points, get ourselves in front of Werder Bremen. Admittedly, they've still to play their game for the weekend, but we move regardless. Should we not get the win, it's probably going to be quite a struggle for us to gain one of the automatic spots. I'm thinking we'll jump back for the final game of the season. We can then have a look, obviously, what's going on. If it's relevant for me to show it you, then we'll do so. If not, then we'll just come back for the season review at the final of the episode. But we have the ball in there third. Uh, Veilson has it on the left. Senga outside. It's blocked. Nupert out right wing back today. He's uh, took himself out to the wing. Into Stamenkovic. Oh, and it hasn't made its way in. Nah, and there's a clearance. We're playing incredibly well in this game so far. So at half time, I said to him, you're playing incredibly well. Half of them are upset at me for some reason. So I'll drop an encouragement. Hopefully cancel out their disappointment. We are 50 minutes in. We've got a highlight. So the ball is with the Bochum defence. Dwa did get the header, but Shin Mi, Ming Shin, oh, I didn't catch what the name was. Is oh my Jesus, Sing Dalson put it over. He went for a he went for a little cheeky dinky dinky and he nearly came off with it. I'm not happy about that. Nupert with a throw on the right, put it short to Kun. Back post, Aquino wins the header. Oh, Senga didn't fancy going for it, and uh, I think it was Stamenkovic that got the header in the end. It went wide. We have a throw in quite deep on our side. Uh, Aquino's on the ball. Back to Velison. Velison? Not sure. Senga puts a brilliant... Well, uh, that's, that's unfair. I said it was a brilliant ball. Didn't get to our player. Obviously, it wasn't a brilliant ball. Either way, we're still in possession. Stamenkovic. Oh, and tries to feed out to Aquino on that left side. Sing Darsons pushing forward. We had possession for almost a split second. Uh, Paula. Apparently, that's his name. Sing Darson again, and a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. It does appear that the striker was offside, though. So, I've made two subs. We've brought off Malkovsky. Uh, let me let me check it. It's Malkovsky. Is he still here? Malkovsky, yeah. I've, I thought I'd just completely butchered his name. Uh, and our right mid, Kun. They've both came out for Maure and Mavondo. So we still have a sub left. We're playing really well. Shin Myung Hyun was the name. I didn't see it long enough earlier when he had that shot. They've scored. They're, they're, they're winning the game. Of course they are. Of course they are. Literally, nothing further happened. And I'm sure you'd be delighted to find out even though we had 10 times the shots on target they did, they scored with their only shot on target. Just because it's just what it is, isn't it? Just how we roll. Uh, I'm going to go and shout at him, obviously. And we'll return for the final game of the season and an update on what's happened in those few games in between. Just depends whether it's important enough to play. So we do return with our final game of the season. And we do have things to fight for still. We're not in the automatic positions yet, but... We're only one position away from Bremen. Um, at the moment, they are playing Paderborn, who are 17th. We've got Nuremberg, who are 9th. But we're home and they're away. Them being Bremen, obviously not Nuremberg. Because it's the same game. And in between, we've played Darmstadt, where we've got an XG of 4.2. Battered. We're changing out the um, formation ever so slightly. We've brought uh, the two strikers, and then one of them is dropped back in. Similar to what we used to play with the uh, cam, but... Back in the middle. Very, very similar to second yellow card. Been watching this stuff and I'm like, good idea. That's how you can make the centre mid, centre defensive mid work. Because 
I tried it, and it was a bit naff. So I'm hoping this does the job for us. It seems to have done in the uh, game against Darmstadt. Uh, following it up with the game against St. Pauli. It's not ideal for us. Stats weren't really on our side, but the goals were. So we picked up a 2-1 win. Massive for us. The two wins that we needed. Even bigger, though. Uh, the game between Bremen and Hansa Rostock actually saw Rostock take the lead. So at that point, we were in the auto spaces. I thought, this is it. This is it. And then and then Bremen equalised and ruined my fun. Our team for the game, though, we have Ajeda in goal, Dwa, Georgie and Parsons as the back three, Nupa and Velison outside of Rota with Kuhn and Sega just in front of those, and Aquino is supporting Stamenkovic as our top two. Obviously, we need to do the job ourselves, but eyes are definitely on that Paderborn game because it doesn't matter what we do if Paderborn end up losing to Werder Bremen. And I believe all we need to do is just better Werder Bremen's record. So uh, they've scored. That's definitely pissed on the fire a little bit. But should Werder Bremen draw, we win. We'll take it. Likewise, if they lose and we draw, we'll have it as well. But um, yeah, neither of the games are going our way at the moment. There's a three-point gap as it stands. Bretta has the ball quite deep, puts it towards Vellison and back out to Parsons. The thing with this holding mid is that instead of everyone just pissing off upfield, he's going to hopefully sit back, cover, and quell some counter-attacks, preferably, and just spray the balls. Just ball spraying. It's what we want from him. I will have to get someone that's actually specifically for that position rather than a left-back I'm making do the job, but he should do it to a pretty good standard. It's 2-0 now to Bayern. Unfortunately, looks like they're going to grab that last spot. Say last spot, second spot, two hands. We aren't seeming to want to do anything in this game. We're more effective than them, but not by much, to be fair. They have had a header from the corner that just went over. Stop that. Had Jankovic not picked up his broken leg, I think we'd have had this, because that back three were absolutely insane. George has been a pretty good replacement, but I wanted him to be kind of building into the team and not just be thrust straight into it. We've uh, launched it out to uh, Velison out on the left side. Uh, I've made a few subs, but okay, they're going to come in now. So we've brought in Malray and Alcatani for Stamenkovic and the centre mid, whose name I've forgotten, Kuhn. Swap the two centre mids around. Uh, it is 3-0 now to Bremen. Can't remember if I've told you or not. I'm, I'm already, like, I'm regressing it as it's happened. Just just don't want it. Repressing it, not regressing it. That's just, it's something completely different. So very annoying. It's a tall ask for a team that have already been relegated to uh, to try and take some points off a team that have set for a promotion, should we say. But uh, either way, it doesn't make it any less annoying. But we're not even doing our part. They'd have had to be beating them at this point, which is four goals <laughs> to the opposite of what is actually happening. There's uh, five minutes of actual time left. It looks like we might be going to that playoff. So I'm thinking we can... Unless an actual madness happens in the last five minutes of play of the season. Uh, we'll find out who it is we're going to play. And I suppose we'll be back for it in the next episode, really. But uh, Parsons is picking up the loose ball from that header. Knocks it forward to Ellison, who's been really good for us, to be fair. Considering we signed him on a free. Aquino, 29th of the season now. It's a shame he's not going to see 30 in the actual league. But hopefully he'll get that in the playoffs. Good little ball out on the left side. I'm unable to skip for some reason. It's a bit annoying. It just happens sometimes. I'm also considering swapping my skin over. I think I will. I'll probably have that done for next season. Um, but yeah, a good goal. And have uh, Paderborn scored five? No, they haven't. No, it's still 3-0. That's a shame. The game's still going. Why have we got another highlight? We're taking the lead. I don't need to do anything else. Nupert, Dwa. The um, extra guy at the back is probably going to be quite useful in the game against whoever it's going to be, the uh, Bundesliga team, in the hopes that we can kind of quell some of their attacks and hit them on the break ourselves. But uh, Nupert puts it in towards Sanga. He hits the deck. Penalty. This may be Aquino's 30th, actually, because he took the penalty, two of them, in the game when he uh, scored his hat-trick. So, uh, yeah, he might get a chance to get his 30th in the league, actually, by the looks of this, unless they give it to someone else for some reason. No! Diego's on it. Number 30. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Very good. He just is. And if we don't get promoted, he's definitely going to leave. And that will upset me. To no end. Cracking pen. I mean, a pen's a pen, really. It ended up in the net. Another highlight. Is he going to get a hat-trick? 
Wellison, short to Rota, into Maure. He's got Nooper. Oh, and it rattles off the underside of the crossbar. And Aquino was there to try and uh, sweep up. But it was belted away by one of the Nuremberg defenders. Nooper out on the right. Throws it to Aquino. Back to Nooper. And he kind of crossed it to the same wing that he was on, which was odd. But uh, it seems... Come on, ref. We don't need this highlight. Don't worry about it, guys. Just kick it out of play. We'll finish the season. Uh, I don't know the time frames on it as well. To the uh, playoffs. I assume it'll be next weekend, but it will probably end up being midweek and we're all going to be battered. And the Bundesliga is going to end up finishing like three weeks ago. Either way, we absolutely slap Nuremberg. And this formation is possible for us. So, we're finishing third in the league. We've received £16.47 million. It's a lot of money. Oh, we're playing Freiburg. Why are we playing Freiburg? Oh, why is that happening? I know they have been relegated relatively recently, but... um. Oh, there you go. There's a five-point cushion, so it looks like we're going to be playing them regardless. Uh, Hamburg and Dresden are coming down anyway. And uh, Mainz and Dusseldorf were the other teams that were possible, but it looks like it was going to be set as Freiburg for a little while. So I'll just have a little look as to what that means game-wise. There is two legs, which I don't know how I feel about, to be quite honest. But regardless of how I feel about it, it's going to be our next episode, and I expect to see you there. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favour, like and subscribe. Show your support on the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, there will be some items on screen, so you can carry on watching. And uh, thank you very much for your time.